But we begin with the elections. We are just about eight days, seven days and 18 hours from Election Day. Local candidates making a big push, a final push for your vote. And this afternoon, Vice President Mike Pence will be in Waterford. He will be campaigning for Republican candidates Mike Bishop and Lena Epstein. And then later, he's headed to Grand Rapids, pushing for John James for Senate and Bill Schutte for governor. Jason Colthorpe gives us a, a preview of that event, as well as Mike Pence's visit. Jason. Yeah, Steve, it's a busy day, clearly, and we still have eight days to go. You mentioned uh, Mike Pence arriving shortly. His plane scheduled to land any moment, and then once he's here, he should be into this hangar here about 1 o'clock for a speech to this crowd that's a couple hundred strong right now, still coming in through security, which is tight, but it was a long line outside since uh, before 10 o'clock this morning, people waiting to get in, and as you said, the stage is set. Uh, Vice President Mike Pence campaigning for Mike Bishop and uh, Lena Epstein, two congressional candidates here. But as we say, the campaigning going on both sides of the ticket today as well. Senator Gary Peters stumping today uh, for Haley Stevens. That was in Northville. Our cameras were there. Of course, we already saw some campaigning with uh, Debbie Stabenow, who's running for Senate. Uh, that was in Detroit earlier today, so a lot of action. People crisscrossing the state. Mike Pence headed to Grand Rapids after this. But we'll be here for his speech and bring you the highlights of that and the entire day coming up later on Local 4. Back to you in the studio. All right, All right. thank you very much. Thanks, Jason. Jason. And there is still time to make your voice heard with your vote. November 6th is the midterm election. Yeah, if you don't vote, you can't complain. That's mm -hmm. pretty much the rule. Last time we had an election for governor, U.S. Senate, Congress, the Michigan legislature, the majority of people did not vote. 56% of voters in Macomb County, 62% in Wayne County, 56% in Washtenaw County did not vote. 52% of the registered voters in Oakland County. You need to get out and cast your vote next Tuesday. You have political opinions. We know that. So make sure to share them in the voting booth, not just online.